congrats on signing the deal and what attracted you to Buffalo? Um, well, obviously it's been a, um, it's been a team that's been contending, um, you know, for the past few years. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, have an opportunity to compete for a championship. So that's first and foremost. Um, and then, you know, growing up, uh, just a few hours from here, um, you know, I think it's just a, a really cool, uh, to, to be able to come back to the state of New York and play football, um, you know, especially at, at this stage of my career. Were you a Bills fan growing up in, outside of Syracuse? No, personally, I wasn't a Bills fan. Um, I actually just like players, um, so I can't say I was a, a Bills fan. I can't say I wasn't. Um, I know that was the, uh, the team locally uh, growing up, but um, I just was a fan of, like, football players growing up, Fred Taylor, um, you know, uh, Adrian Peterson when I was coming out, but um, uh, but definitely always uh, you know was uh, you know uh, drawn to you know being a Bills fan, especially just from friends and family uh, growing up in Syracuse. Gotcha. And and the last thing from me, I guess you're you're putting your volunteer coaching uh, career on hold. I guess um, um, you contemplated that last year. What did the production you were able to generate in Denver show to you, perhaps? Yeah, just the fact, like, you know, when you're sitting at home and you're training and uh, everybody else is at uh, training camp or OTAs, um, you know, you do have some doubts. Just, you know, am I going to get another opportunity? Uh, do I need to sit or wait around or uh, do I, you know, get involved in some other things? Because I was just kind of getting bored, getting antsy. And so um, volunteering for the local high school down in, in Orlando was just my way of doing that. And then uh, I, I got the call honestly, my first day volunteering. And so, um, I, mean, I, I just, it's just, uh, it's crazy how it works, but, um, you know, just, uh, just the fact that I could go out in Denver and, 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 and do what I thought, you know, I knew I could do, um, what I was training to do and be productive. And so obviously here I am and, um, you know, this organization, uh, saw that. And so just grateful for the opportunity. Thanks so much. Thank you. Latavis Murray, Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports, and Danny, man. Welcome to Buffalo. Appreciate it. I'm not too, uh, you know, leaning with John. You may owe me a push-up or two for being late to the meeting, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, man, 6'3", 230 pounds, man. Where do you see your game being the best asset in this offense? Yeah, I just think uh, we're all different uh, running backs within that room. So I think it starts there, just being bringing a different element to the to the to the backfield, to the running back room. Um, you got James, you got Naheem, you got Damian. Um, really, all different, different in size, even. So um, you know, I just think uh, there's some versatility that I you know I do have, even with being bigger. But um, yeah, what stands out first and foremost is that my size and um, my speed at that size. And so um, you know, I hopefully uh, you know I think. Uh, you know, this offense has been, you know, great at finding ways to put players in positions, uh, players to do things that they do well. And so I look forward to, you know, exploring that and learning the offense and, and fitting in. No doubt. Speaking of fitting in, uh, you fit in with this guy once again, a reunion with Stefan Diggs. So what it would be like to uh, be in the same uniform with that guy again? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. Um, our time together in Minnesota, um, was great. We were we were a game away from um, you know getting to the Super Bowl. Um, you know uh, losing to Philly in the uh, in the uh, NFC Championship. So um, you know it was a it was a it was a great team, competitive. You know a lot of similarity, great locker room, great organization. And so um, yeah, we wanna we wanna you know go after uh, you know that ring again together. And uh, you know he's always been a friend of mine. A lot of respect for him, a lot of respect for what he does on the field, uh, but a competitor, and I respect that the most. And so I look forward to chasing it with him again. Being, uh, you know, 33 years old and, you know, been a veteran in this league for 10 plus years, how hungry are you to, you know, cap that off with a world championship? Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the only reason I'm here, honestly. Um, it's not about anything else other, other, other than that for me, um, just to be able to compete for a ring. It, it ain't easy, right? It, it, it's, it's not easy at all, but, um, you know, I know this team has a, a, a year in and year out opportunity to do it. 
And so, uh, you know, I'm here for that reason to, to, to do whatever it is I can to um, get us to that goal. No doubt, man. Welcome to Buffalo and congrats on the community center you're building up there in Syracuse as well. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hey, Latavius, how are you? Sal Capaccio, WGR Radio in Buffalo. Good to see you and uh, welcome to Buffalo. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you. So as a guy who went to Syracuse, I'm disappointed you didn't go there, but I'm actually curious how that transpired for you coming out of um, New York to go down to UCF because I'm not familiar with that part of your story. Yeah, so um, so Syracuse recruited me. Um, for me, it was just uh, growing up in Syracuse. I just felt it was best for me and, and you know, calling my career and just growing as a man at that time to just get away and uh and experience something different and uh and and, and, I, and I did just that um it's, it's it, it, you know it helped me throughout my life and so um I think that was the biggest part it wasn't we at the time Syracuse wasn't Syracuse football that I grew up watching mm -hmm. with Donovan and Marvin and those guys but but uh but I considered it but I knew what was best for me and so um UCF somehow some way found me and you know when you uh when you visit uh central florida in november uh it's hard to come back saying you ain't going you're going somewhere else so that's how that ended up i totally get it um now i know you didn't cross paths with gabe davis down there but do you train with him do you have a relationship with him yeah yeah we train together we've trained together these past two off seasons um developed a great relationship just got just got out of the uh uh, you know, doing some rehab together. So, um, um, you know, he's a, he's a great friend. He's a, another competitive, hardworking, um, you know, young guy that um, I've enjoyed being around. He's actually, he's actually made me better just from being around him in the off season. So, uh, you know, I look forward to playing with him now and again, chasing it with him too. All right, man. Congratulations. And uh, we'll, I'm sure see you soon. Appreciate it. Hi, Latavius. Uh, Matt Perino from Syracuse.com. Uh, thanks for taking some time today. What's up, Matt? Um, can you tell me a little bit more about uh, the community center and um, obviously, you know, wanting to give kids um, the opportunities that that might provide where the uh, the genesis of the idea came from for you? Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> so right now. Uh, we are uh, we started a foundation called the John Diaz Community Center uh, named after a best friend of mine who passed away in 2016 and. Um, we're in the early stages of uh, raising funds to uh, build a community center. And, uh, you know, that started from um, us growing up, going to the Boys and Girls Club, going to YMCA's and, you know, playing in leagues and going on trips and programs with those, with, with those facilities. And um, we just always thought like, if we could have one in our hometown um, and didn't have to go to, you know, the city or whatever, you know, how cool would that be? And so um, some time went by and kind of always, you know, always had that dream, but I just felt the timing was right to like really go after it. And everything kind of has, you know, come together. We've, you know, gotten assistance from um, the county, you know, foundations, Jim and Julie Beheim Foundation, a lot of, lot of uh, you know, co cont contribution. Um, we have the gala coming up um, this Saturday. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's been it's been great so far. Still a lot of work to do, but you know, I'm just looking forward to bringing those opportunities to you know kids like me growing up in uh, in, uh, in the Syracuse area. How often uh, do you get back to your hometown, and do you still have a lot of family there? Yeah, my mom still lives there, same house I grew up in, um, and uh, you know I get back. If you know I've been back quite a quite a bunch just with the gala and everything and planning that, but um, yeah, I get I get back pretty often, a few times a year. Definitely. And then um, I think you talked about it a little bit at the start, um, but in terms of coming into this backfield, you know, with so many different talented players, what's your approach? I know you want to do whatever you can to help the team win, but is, I mean, you're a competitive guy. What were those conversations like when you were deciding, knowing that there were, you know, a, a lot of backs in, in this room? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, uh, the conversation really weren't much about, um, you know, if it's playing time, you're talking about it. You know, I know for me, I'm. This is going into my 11th season. Um, a lot of experience. Um, been in rooms with multiple backs, uh, younger backs, and uh, so I just think the the fit was right to be able to come in and 
again, provide a different element in the run game. And then also, um, you know, try to, you know, um, you know, help the guys around me in that built in that room, um, just based off of my experience. So, you know, I look forward to, you know, learning from them. You know, they, they're again younger, uh, keep me young, and I also look forward to, you know, sharing knowledge, sharing my experiences, just to make them better, uh, which essentially helps the team. Thanks so much, man. Congrats. Appreciate it. Yes. Good afternoon, Latavius George Radney, Challenger Community News. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good, George. Thank you. All righty. And uh, man, I kind of laughed when they said why you left Syracuse for Central Florida, man. I was like, is that real? <laughs> Try not to. You answered it very well, though, definitely for sure. But uh, being here in Rochester, New York, and I'm just wondering what motivates you to continue to play after going into your 11th season and now the way it's set up with the uh, NFL PA with the veteran players, you guys, you know, have to wait and, and wait on and hope that phone rings and also how do you motivate yourself to stay in shape and keep yourself ready for when that phone does ring and it's the right ring that you want to hear and the right team, of course? How does that, how do you do that? Yeah, um, I'm motivated to win a Super Bowl, if I'm being honest, and I haven't done that yet. And so, um, you know, again, when I said we came up close, you know, I think you, you play the game, you grow up playing the game, you love the game. And uh, when we came up short uh, back in, 2017, um, I realized then, you know, how like man, how, how bad I really wanted that, how good, how bad I really wanted to, you know, go on and 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 compete for a Super Bowl. And so, um, you know, I can, you know, I can truly, I can honestly say that's what I've been chasing. That's what's been motivating me. And so, um, you know, but in order to do that, look, you gotta stay in shape. You gotta, you gotta contribute. You know, what I mean, I gotta be the player that I, the best player I can be in order to be on the team. And I also got to be productive when I am out there. And so um, it's a combination of all that, but um, first and foremost, it's, it's, it's winning a Super Bowl. And so, um, you know, that's, you know, that's why I'm here and to, you know, get better, grow, continue to grow, learn and, 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 and do whatever we can to, to, you know, go out there and accomplish that. And does it benefit you a lot when you do get the call from your agent and you look at the different teams that uh, may have an interest in you and you say, hey, it, it's more on you to choose, say, hey, I can choose these, this case, Buffalo, because I know it's Minnesota, New Orleans, uh, so the teams that were all, the Ravens included, teams that were definitely had a, a chance that particular year to make yep. the Super Bowl. Does that also kind of help, help you out on your end? Yeah, hundred percent. You definitely like I, you know, I'm not trying to just go anywhere, and uh, you know, right. I don't, I don't need to, you know, if I'm honestly, I don't need to play for more money, right? It's 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 about who can compete, who can compete, and compete for a championship. You know, end of the day, uh, even choosing Denver last year, I felt going into that situation that it was gonna turn out, um, you know, different than it did. So, um, you know, again, that's that's why I'm here. And uh, and so I look forward to it. Great, Latavia. Thank you very much. Look forward to meeting you, uh, seeing you out at training camp in uh, Rochester, New York, at St. John Fisher College. Have a great day. I appreciate it. You too. Hey, Latavius. Um, Elena Getzenberg with ESPN. It's nice to meet you. Hey, doing? Good. Um, I was curious. Nice, nice story, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I was curious. Um, you came in for a visit a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. What was kind of your impressions of that visit? And then what was it like? Like, when did you find out, okay, they actually, you know, we're going to move, move ahead with this? Yeah, the visit went great. Um, you know, I was able to sit down with, uh, you know, uh, Brandon Bean and, and, and Coach McDermott and uh, just kind of talk about football, talk about life even. Uh, it was real, you know, low key. And then um, met the other coaching staff and uh, some of the other staff that were here in town. Not everybody was here at that time. But it just went good. I, you know, I, I knew then, like, you know, they had the, the right, you know, uh, uh, guys in charge here, the right culture, the right organization. And so um, met the owner as well. So um, it went good. I um, was definitely hoping that it played out this way that, you know, once we kind of, you know, seen how the draft played out, that um, I'd be getting that call. So, you know, again, thankful for the opportunity to be here. Um, very grateful and, uh, you know, just excited.
So did you kind of have to like see if they addressed the position in the draft? Were you like kind of, yeah. you know, seeing what the Bills did during the draft? Like, what was that like for you? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I was uh, I was watching every pick closely. Uh, so um, but it, it was fun. It was, you know, it was interesting. I know that I know the, the nature of the business, you know, and, and, and they com communicated that as well. So I really appreciated that. I knew if uh, there was somebody to get, you know, that they were high on then they're going to get them. That's anybody. I just appreciate the communication. So, uh, but even with that, yeah, I, I watched it close and was hoping obviously that, um, you know, it could work out in my favor. Awesome. And then just like getting into the building today, just like, I don't know, is it like exciting, like actually like getting started after kind of that waiting period? Just what's the feeling like? Yeah. Yeah. It feels good. We get, got right to work. Uh, went out for a walk through right after I signed um, <laughs> workouts and, um, and uh, yeah, now talking to you guys. So um, yeah, I'm just, just excited to get to work, excited to learn, um, get up to speed as quick as possible, get comfortable, um, you know, so I can, uh, you know, you know, just make an impact. For sure. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Latavius, Alex Brasky with the Tavy Daily News. You played with Dalvin Cook in Minnesota, and now you're set to play with his brother James in Buffalo. Have you had any any discussions with those two about that dynamic, and how much you're looking forward to that? Yeah, me and James already talked just a little bit, um, but uh, I told him he sounds just like his brother. Like it's if, if yeah, if I close my eyes, I feel like it's Dalvin. But um, but James is you know a lot of similarities, just explosive players. Um, you know, I watched him in in, in college and high school even just playing with Dalvin, we obviously kind of kept up with what he was doing. And so it's been really cool to see him go from, you know, high school to college until now he and I playing together on the same team. So, um, you know, that's kind of full circle. So I think that's cool. And um, we just, uh, you know, just excited to get to work with him. Um, as I said, help, hopefully give him any knowledge, any experience that I can, uh, you know, provide. Um, and then, um, it's good to be around a young player like that, a young explosive player like that. So I can uh, no, again, learn, again, learn from. All right, thanks. Good luck. Thank you.